So why did we go through this entire? Learning about prime numbers, composite numbers is very interesting. But in the context of multiples and factors, why did we go through prime numbers and composite numbers? Because we will be learning a technique called prime factorization that will be applied to solving problems in this module. Okay, that is exactly where we are going to stop. Start the next section. Is that clear? Now, we just saw that these numbers are prime numbers between 1 and 50. Correct? I just wanted to make a note of it and park it that side so we can use it whenever we want. Now, we will come to prime factorization. Is that clear? Let us take the case of 24. 24 is 6 into 4, right? 6 is 3 into 2, right? And 4 is 2 into 2. So, you could have actually started as 24 is 2 into 12 and you would have still got the same answer. 2 into 6 into 2. 2 into 3 into 2 into 2. So, 3 2's and 1 3. It really did not matter where you started with. So, representing a number as a product of prime numbers, prime factors is called prime factorization. If a number is written as a product of prime numbers, right, then we say we get the prime factorization of the number. The prime factorization of 24 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3, correct? So, how do we arrive at this for any arbitrary number, right? So, let us consider a number and see if we can get to the prime factorization, right? Let us take the number 420. What we want to do is divide this number by 2. So, you get 210. You divide this number by 2, you get 105, right? At this point, we know 1 plus 5 is 6. Therefore, this number is divisible by 3. That is why we did divisibility. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digits in the number is divisible by 3, right? So, divided by 3, this is 35, right? A number is divisible by 5. If it is, if it ends in 5 or 0, right? So, this is divisible by 5. So, you get 7, 7, 1. Therefore, 420 is 2 into 2 into 3 into 5 into 7. It is just as simple as that. You start with 2, 3, 5, 7 and go down and keep dividing it with a prime number progressively till you know you have hit 1. The product of all the factors on the left side is simply the prime factorization of the number. Is that clear? So, let us solve a couple of problems, right? 54, 80, 81. We want to find out the, do the prime factorization of these numbers. So, we start with 54, 2, 27, 27 is divisible by 3, 9, 9 is divisible by 3. Therefore, 2 into 3 into 3 into 3, 54 is equal to, is that clear? 
let's look at this start with 2 2 is the smallest prime number and if it's an even number the number ends in 0 2 4 6 or 8 the moment it's an even number start the factorization process with 2 80 divided by 2 is 40 divided by 2 again 20 divided by 2 again 10 10 is still an even number divided by 2 you get 5 5 is a prime number 5 divided by 5 is 1 therefore 80's prime factorization is 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 okay 81 right 8 plus 1 is 9 9 is divisible by 3 therefore 81 is divisible by 3 3 is 2 7 27 is divisible by 3 9 this is divisible by 3, 3, 3, 1. Therefore, 81 is 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. And that's how you go through the process of prime factorization. Is that clear? This is, an, this is a very useful technique because we will use this as a basis for identifying the highest common factor and least common multiple in the sections that follow okay we can now go to the topic of finding out highest common factor and what hcf is hcf stands for highest 